from the Thunderdome in Cineraplis, Forsk, Minnesota. We're ready for a good game of MFL football, but we're here with a team that literally eats their opponents, so we may have to settle for carnage instead. Hey, that's what they paid for, Grim. I'm pretty sure they're okay with that. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Grim Bay Attackers battle. The Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. I'm going to wreck it. Hello once again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I flunked my mouth. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. Better odds than I get in Vegas. Get a point. And it's first and ten. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stomped after three. They usually stomp me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. And I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. And it's first and ten. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First and eight to go. Oh, and he just turned ginormous. Look out! Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he made this close. Oh, nice hit. First and ten. A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. The 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown. Take all you mutants out. That's right. Don't make any mistakes. 
lose here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. And the kick is good. Uh, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose. Instead, they're in a dead heat. Tie game at the end of one. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a... He refuses to go down. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks, because he just wrestles away from that tackle. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Second down and six. He just picked the receiver's pocket and the defense gets a turnover. Holy crap! He mistimed the spikes and ends up dead. Life is full of misery, Grim. Loneliness, suffering, and then it's over much too soon. <laughs> It's a time warp dirty trick. The last play is a race. How did they do that? Did they go 88 miles per hour? Just asking. And he's off to the races. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. First down and five. And he, and he runs it in for the touchdown. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. That's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. And the runner is moving crazy fast. Look at the path he's taking the field. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score. You know what? I'm the greatest, the greatest, I tell you. <laughs> and they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever.
first and ten. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. blew up and he's on fire. I'm not talking about one of those video game fire modes. I mean, literally, he's like burning bacon down there. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Rim? That would make more sense. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yes. And that's it. That's the last timeout. It's score or die from here out. I'd be impressed if he splits the uprights from this far away, Bricks. If he doesn't, they're going to split his skull wide open. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. He just knocked him into the next time zone. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Hey, I just want to uh, wish everybody a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and thank uh, the community so much for being a part of Mutant Football League and supporting us. I hope everybody has a wonderful and safe holiday and uh, we'll talk soon. Thank you so much for supporting MFL and uh, Happy New Year to everybody as well. Take care. the third quarter and we are set to go bricks oh boy where we going Rim? a carnival huh i'm gonna go with my strip tea show where we going I'll ruin your world hey, why don't you settle down just pet your rabbit lenny just pet your rabbit when you get knocked down you got to get right back up and fight uh, what about when you get knocked up what do you do then Run.
Hey man, nobody can touch you with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Huh? And that'll be second down and four. Oh. Down and ten. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. And it's first and ten. to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can see that, Grim. Can't tell if this is a seizure or a celebration. <laughs> Either way, the fans are loving it. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. trying to tie this up with two points. And if they don't, things are going to get weird and desperate on their sideline. Hey, give them more. Two-point plays are high-risk, high-reward, and it just didn't pay off. And now they're both screwed and stupid. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. He turned into a mutant fireball with his flame on dirty trick. And anything he touches gets flambéed. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. Now why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pitchkin? Bacon! I'm hungry for bacon! And the quarterback calls a sonic blast, and he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And that's 
two timeouts gone for the defense. But they've really got to get the ball back to their offense. But the offense has like 30 balls over there on the sideline just waiting for them. Why don't they just use them? Ask the ball boy. He doesn't do nothing. And he picks up 10 on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly... The defense calls their last timeout. I don't know if they can pull off a win, Glenn. Why is that, Bricks? Uh, just a gut feeling. It also might be that porterhouse I ate for breakfast. How are you still alive? Drugs. And with another pick, the QB says, I debunk, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Is this deja vu? This is like our bazillion season, dumbass. Actually, I think he's talking about the time warp dirty trick that the defense... And that player just transformed into a giant... Oh, he took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble! He's got a case of fumbleitis. Third down and a pussy here. Oh, with a punishing hit! First and ten. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? Oh, oh. Second down and a lot. Just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Third down and, well, good luck. And they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. It's good. You got to be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey, don't give these refs any ideas, you idiot. Grim, I just dashed. On it. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted. He's leaving it all out on the field today. And there's his large intestines over there, his liver. I think his spleen is stuck on that guy's cleat. No, that's a gallbladder. Ah, my bad. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? The Purple Mutant Eaters are nothing but blue today, taking a home loss. Uh, does that mean they'll eat a different color? Am I sent to ask them for autographs, Grim? What color eats what, Grim? The home team comes up two points short and a real heartbreaker. It was also a backbreaker, a kneebreaker, and a neckbreaker. What, with the quake of the baker and the candlestick maker? What are you, three years old, you fucking simp? He's got a point, Bricks. Let's take it down to the MVP. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't say it. <laughs> Britton Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it still. Mutant Football League Dynasty Edition. In stores now.